All right, just taking a look at these all new units from Flashfish. There's actually two of them. This is the kind of the smaller, more compact one. And, and I'm, this is the one I'm going to be mostly focusing on in this video because I think it's a little bit more appealing. But um, they do have a larger one as well. We'll kind of touch on that at the end. But yeah, an all new design from Flashfish. And, you know, and this company has actually been around for a while. They've been making power stations for a while. But as you can see, you know, they haven't been all that popular because they kind of had these like real strange designs to them. But as you can see with this new design, you know, they really just kind of clean things up a little bit. And, um, you know, it just probably is going to appeal to more people, right? And it might, it might appeal to you, especially if you're looking for something. This is kind of a, a unique size, 448 watt hours. So kind of on the smaller end of like mid-size units. And as I mentioned, you know, this thing does have LFP batteries. So this is like, th these are the first um, power stations basically that Flashfish has that, that have LFP batteries. And um, so we do get that upgrade as well. And then we also get, you know, pretty decent specs here with the inverter, uh, 600 watt. And then uh, what's really interesting is that they actually give you um, 100 watt and it is bi-directional. So in and out. And you're, you're definitely going to want to make use of this, um, the, the input on this thing, because guess what? This adapter is only 65 watts. <laughs> So and it is a kind of like an old school, you know, it's got the power brick and everything like that. So, um, you know, it's a little bit disappointing, but, you know, again, on kind of a more of a budget unit, it's not, you know, a huge surprise. But yeah, 65 watts is a bit of a surprise. I mean, in this day and age, that's just too slow. But, you know, everything that they advertise this thing with, you know, is basically in combination with that 100 watt USB-C. So, yeah, if you do use both at the same time, which is a little bit of an inconvenience, you can get, you know, decent charge time on that right a little over three hours and then one thing to note is that they do claim ups but this is not really a ups you know as as we just talked about it's it's using a a dc adapter to basically charge from the wall so it's not you know bringing in ac power and then bypassing that out through the the ac outlets right like like a true ups would this is actually what they're what they're claiming ups is actually pass through charging so, you know, you're going to be, if you're going to be using it as a UPS, basically, you know, power is going to be flowing through the battery at all times. So, you know, even with LFP batteries, you know, it's just not good for the battery. You're, you're going to shorten the life on it. But it is a nice option to have that, you know, for if you got bad weather or something, right? And there's just a higher chance of the power going out. It's always nice. And then, of course, the benefit of, of having like, you know, pass through charging, basically powering from the battery at all times is that if you do lose power, there's no switchover. You know, you've seen a lot of these reviews where they're always testing that that uh, that UPS switchover and how many milliseconds it is. Is it going to keep the computer on? You know, the benefit with this is there's no switchover, right? You know, if the power goes out, it just stops charging, right? And you just continue powering from the battery. So so that is kind of the, the one benefit. Now, we do get a light on the side of the unit too, which is real nice. I like to see that. And this is, they actually um, describe this as an exquisite light. Now, for the solar charging, they don't give any specs on this. So this is something they need to fix on this listing. Um, the, basically, the only indication we get is this five hours, so it's less than 500 watt hours. So <laughs> and maybe you can get 100 watts going into this thing. I don't know. But then they recommend two 100 watt panels. So I, you know, who knows? Now, just to touch on this design real quick, since this is an all new design, um, as I mentioned, I actually quite like this. And they're integrating the handles into the side of the unit, which is kind of my favorite design. We get the flat top, of course and everything on the front. And one thing I really like is actually this uh, the screen that they're using. Basically, you can tell there's a ton of information on there. It's gonna give you everything you everything that you would wanna see. And I really like that they're using that kind of orange color for the, this is like the only, I've only ever seen Jackery kind of use that orange color. You know, it seems like everybody else is just using like some shade of blue. So I do kind of like that. And, you know, of course, they're still using um, some orange on the product as well. But, you know, it's mostly gray now, right? So I think that's a step in the right direction. And now one thing that I'd noted, and I think this might just be a, a mistake on the rendering, because this is actually just a computer rendering, is that they actually have the, the larger opening on the AC. Um, it's flipped, you know, it's backwards. It should be, this one should be bigger. And then this one should be smaller, right? But they actually have it correct on the larger unit. As you can see, they're just, you know, the, everything's upside down. But, you know, you can still plug in a standard three-prong uh, thing into it, right? Because everything's oriented right. And as you can see, basically everything else is the same about this bigger unit. It's just, it's just physically larger, although we do get two wireless chargers on top. And we do get a 1,200-watt inverter. And we do get more capacity. So they're saying, actually, that this is 2,400 watt-hours. Is that right? 
No, no, that no, that's not right. It's it's a thousand watt hours. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. And so yeah, this is just kind of like a typical mid-size unit. 24 pounds on this one. Yeah, so that's just the new Flashfish model. So you know, something to take a look at, especially with this with this update with the LFP and stuff like that. And you know, I think one of the last things they could do is maybe update the the name. I'm still not too crazy about that name. FF. There's another company, FF Power. You know. Too bad that's taken, you know, that would be a kind of a, a nice upgrade. But yeah, hopefully you just kind of found this uh, overview helpful or interesting. And yeah, thanks for watching.